Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be watercolor painting for the first time in four years. I don't think I've watercolor painted since my senior year of high school. It's been four years since then, and I've since graduated college and done a whole bunch of different stuff kind of thing. It's been a long time since the last time I watercolor painted. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And when I was in high school, I really was not a big fan of watercolor painting. I love how watercolor paint looks. I love, I love how it looks when it's done correctly. I was forced to do it in high school. It's something I didn't want to do in high school. I didn't care about it. I never really learned how to do it properly. Uh, but, but honestly, it's something I, I want to learn how to do properly now, which is honestly why I am actually looking forward to making this video, even though I don't really like watercolor all that much, because I hope that maybe doing this video will make me enjoy it more. But also, I am, of course, quite excited to make this video because this is indeed the 5,000 subscriber special for this channel right here. I really do appreciate all of y'all's support. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. Uh, I, I'm glad y'all enjoy this channel enough to subscribe, but uh, yeah, 5,000 subscribers is huge, and I really do appreciate uh, y'all's support on this channel. It really does mean a lot. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and actually tell y'all what I'm going to be, well, watercolor painting in today's video. Well, I'm going to be watercolor painting a school of fish. I thought it would work pretty well, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit better than drawing just a full-sized fish. And so, yeah, I'm going to be watercolor painting a, well, school of fish. First off, I'm going to go ahead and just outline the fish with a pencil, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually watercolor the, well, fish themselves. And then after all of the watercolor dries, I'm going to go through and add a bunch of details with my Papermate Inkjoy Gel 0.7 millimeter pen, because I love how watercolor looks when you outline it with a gel pen or with a ballpoint pen or, or whatever kind of thing. I, I don't even know if this is really the right pen to use, but I love how how watercolor looks when you outline it with pen and everything like that kind of thing. I think it looks fantastic. So as such, I am quite excited to do that in today's video. But first off, I'm just going to go ahead and put my brush to the side and everything like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually start drawing the school of fish first off. I do suppose I maybe should have drawn the school of fish beforehand, but I did not do that. So let's just go ahead and draw just one fish right here, just like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in all the teeth and all of the extra details and everything like that kind of thing just to make sure I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to try to leave the eyes. Actually, I kind of want the eyes to be a different color, but I kind of want all of the fish to have the same color eyes. So when I'm actually watercoloring the, watercoloring the fish itself, I want to try to avoid the eye. So I am going to try to make sure I have the eye uh, down as a like detail to avoid and everything like that kind of thing. I'm going to go ahead and just add a fin right there and a fin right there. And let's just go ahead and continue. I'm not going to be doing too, too many fish in this drawing, but I do want there to still be a significant amount, but I also don't want this to take like three hours, that is for sure, because I mean like watercolor is a process in of itself that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, I am very, very, very excited to, well, uh, do this video today as I'm sure you guys can tell. I'm going to go ahead and do another fish on this side as well, and I want all of the fish to at least look somewhat similar. Uh, most of the fish so far have been kind of top heavy rather than bottom heavy, and they haven't been particularly long, so that's kind of the same look I want to keep for the rest of the fish in this drawing, but with minor differences, of course, like tails and everything like that, those are all minor differences. So I just want there to be minor differences uh, between the fish. I don't want them to all be exactly the same, uh, but I do want them to all look at least like they're part of the same genus or something like that kind of thing, or of part of the same species. I don't know how to say it right. Now let's go ahead and do, I think I'm gonna do a smaller fish right here with a big tail, just like that. I, I some teeth just like that and two fins just like that let's go and do another fish up here i might be going a little bit too heavy with my lines i can't remember it might have been something that was covered i don't really like how that oh man my oh man wow that just fell out well well there goes there goes <laughs> there goes my graphite i'm just gonna shove that off my table and, and throw it on the floor. There we go. There went my graphite. I'm not happy with these eyes though. I'm actually going to erase these eyes. I don't typically like to erase details on my drawings, but I'm actually really not happy with those eyes. Let's just go ahead and go like that. I think though, what I was about to say is that I am going a little bit too uh, dark 
with my lines, but it doesn't really matter anyway because I'm going to be going over all of these lines with a pen after I'm done watercolor painting, so it doesn't really particularly matter anyway. Uh, but that is one thing I think I learned in high school. I don't know in all honesty. I really do not remember much from high school, uh, especially watercolor painting because I kind of tried to burn that out of my memory uh, even just during high school because I really did not enjoy watercolor painting all that much. But I know I didn't enjoy it much then, but I, I really do hope that I enjoy it a lot more now that is for sure. I'm going to do a really big fish here. There we go. Big boy fish right there. Big boy fish. Just like that. Big boy big. Big 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 boy big. Big boy fish. And let's go ahead and put another fish right here. There is going to be a decent amount to watercolor, I will admit, but that's perfectly fine. And I'm thinking I'm going to do maybe like one more fish right here, and then I think like two fish right here, and I think that's going to be it. I don't really want any of them to get too close to the border. I know this one's like really close to the border, but I don't really want any of them to get too, too close to the border just because I am dealing with water uh, in today's video. Let's just do, I think, one more right here, and then I'm just going to take a look at the paper uh, and just kind of give myself a minute to think if I want to add any more fish. Uh, so let's see. So there's one right there. I think I kind of want to add one down here as well. just like that. And I think I am very tempted to just literally fill up the entire page. Um, I do kind of want to do that. I'm going to add another one right here. There we go. And I'm tempted to put one right here. And then am I thinking anywhere else? I don't know. It just I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else I want to put any more fish. Are there is there anywhere else? It feels kind of doesn't feel quite natural right now. And that's kind of the goal I want to go for. I want to make it actually look like a school of fish that's like swimming together. And it just don't quite feel natural right now. I feel like maybe it's just me. It's probably just me overthinking it in all honesty, but I do want this to be a really good drawing, and I don't want to overthink it too much. Normally, I'm like, I don't care. Who cares kind of thing? I'm like, I don't care kind of thing. Nah, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm putting the effort into watercoloring this, I want this to be a good drawing. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think I'm just gonna do one or two more fish uh, right here. There we go. There we go. Just to uh, kind of throw off the sort of like line I have going right here to make it look a little bit less symmetrical. And I think I'm going to do one more right here, and I'm going to try to make this one a little bit bigger, just like that. Okay, I think, and I do kind of want to put one right here. I keep being like, oh yeah, I think I'm, oh no, I want to put one right there. Okay, I think I am, I, I, I kind of want to put more fish in, but I think I'm just going to leave it there. I think I'm just going to leave it there. I think that is plenty of fish for me to watercolor. So now that I've gone ahead and finished off with my pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and put my lead all back. I guess it's not actually lead, it's graphite. And now I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush. I'm using a, what is this? This is a Fundamentals Creative Mark Zero Round or whatever. It's, it's, a, it's a detailed brush from what I can tell. It should be, I have more brushes over here. I might actually grab a more detailed one for the smaller fish because I, I have a bunch of these. I just uh, stole... Like, uh, I just stole a whole thing from one of my parents who hates watercoloring as well, but they had some watercolor 
brushes, so I just stole them from them. And they've, these have never been used, so I think I'm gonna go, to, gonna go ahead and just use the super fine point one on some of the small fish first, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of the big fish, I think, is probably the way to do it. But uh, yeah, I guess first off, I need to go ahead and get my brush a little bit wet. I've got a paper towel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry it off just a little bit. And I am going to, what color do I want to start off with? What color do I want to start off with? I think I want to start off with a green. So I am going to just get my brush actually kind of wet and just kind of hammer it in just a little bit like that. And let's go ahead and just start off with green. So I'm just going to wipe that just to get an idea of like how green it's going to be. Let's just uh, get a little bit more wet. And let's go ahead and just start with this. I'm not sure if I want the teeth to actually be colored. I did color it on this one, but I don't think I'm going to color the teeth on any of the other fish. I think it might look better if they're not colored. I'm going to go ahead and do another fish with that same green, though. I think I'm going to do this one over here. See, I think that's going to be the only fish in this drawing that actually has colored teeth, because I was kind of thinking I wanted to color them, and now I'm kind of thinking I don't. But I, worst, worst case scenario, I can always just go back through and just redo it. I think I need some more water and some more color, maybe. Actually, I don't need any more. I just need some more water. And there we go. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. All right, no complaints on my behalf. That's going pretty well so far. Let's go ahead and do another fish. I think I'm going to do one over here now. I think I need some more water. And some more color, maybe. I think I might have used a bit too much color on this, or not color of water. I think I might have used a bit too much water on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and just dry that out just a little bit and just fade it a little bit if I can. It's getting to kind of a minty green now. That's okay. And I do want some more color, though. Okay, and there we go. I think I'm done with green at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just get all of that color off of this brush right here. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for next up, I think I want to go for, hmm, time to do orange, but I kinda wanna do blue. I think I'll do, I think I'll start with orange. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm always gonna have the opportunity to do blue next. And I kinda wanna do one of the big fish. So I think I'm gonna go for one of the big fish now. Just get that going a little bit. Dry the brush a little bit. There we go, a little bit more potent. I wanted a little bit more of a potent color. And this is really my thing that really always got me tripped up with watercolor is that uh, trying to actually manage the color and the, and the water at the same time always, it messed me up so much, y'all. It really did always just mess me up so much. And it was really something I never really quite got the hang of. Watercolor can be very frustrating, but so far, this is turning out better than not, so I can't complain. Just make sure I get all the details right. This fish don't matter too much. It's a little bit small. Glad I started with some small fish instead of some big fish. Let's just go and spread that color out just a little bit as well. These colors are starting to look very dull, and that's my thing. I don't understand how to get, like, super bright colors from... Maybe it's because I'm, I'm like, bleeding it in the graphite. Maybe that's why it's getting dull. Maybe I'm not using enough orange. 
I'm not exactly sure, but I, I'm trying to get like, re I want to get like really, really, really like vibrant colors kind of thing. And I'm definitely not really quite achieving that at the moment. Uh, but if I can achieve it at all, I will be very happy. That is for sure. And the lines can go out a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm really happy with the vibrant colors up here. And I actually do kind of like how it gets kind of dull, like kind of throughout the fish and whatnot. Um, I actually kind of do like that quite a bit. So there we go. There's another fish done. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just go over this a little bit as well. I'm just going to be doing one layer of watercolor on each fish today. I'm not trying to overdo it or anything like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do another fish in orange. What other fish do I want to do in orange? I think I'll do this guy up here next. I am actually, I know I'm not talking much, but I am actually concentrating quite a bit, which is why I don't usually concentrate nearly this much when I am uh, doing art. I'm just kind of like, ah, fuck it. I'm all, I'm all good kind of thing. And there we go. Okay, there's that one done. I'm actually really liking how like, there's like different like levels of color um, with the, with, with the, like this one I did and with this one I did kind of thing. And honestly, I kind of want to make the green a little bit darker in all honesty on, on part of those. I might have to go over that later on i think i'm gonna go ahead and do another fish in orange though i think i'll do this one right here oh i definitely did use a bit too much that's okay there we go all right sweet sweet there's another one done and I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to switch color. I think I'm just going to try to do three fish in each color if I can. And so what color do I want to do next? I'm thinking I want to do... Hmm. I don't think I'm going to mess with black or white. I'm not going to mess with that because I'm already, the, the outlines of the fish are going to be in black. But I think I'll do sort of, sort of magenta right here. I'll mess with that a little bit. Okay, so that's what the that color looks like. It is quite dark, but that's okay. This color's pretty fun, I ain't gonna lie, actually. This color's really nice. And there we go, there's one fish done. Now let's go ahead and do another one. I think I'll do this guy right here. I'm trying to make sure I don't... Ooh, I definitely need to get some more water, though. Get some more paint as well. And I think one thing I need to start remembering about this is that I always want to start on the top lines. Then at least... Like the dark area, if I'm going to have one area with more color than not, is going to be like against a line or something like that. And I think it just looks better that way. So I think that is one thing that I need to remember, but probably not something I'm going to commit to. But let's just go ahead and commit to it for this one at least. There we go. Oh, I'm getting my hand in some of the watercolor. That's okay. Let's go ahead and go around the eye just like that. Make sure I don't hit any of the teeth. Just like that. Okay, sweet, sweet.
there we go. I don't know how to feel about this fish, but it's okay. It's whatever. I'm just kind of experimenting today. I know I, I know I said earlier, I was like, man, I want this drawing to be perfect. I don't, I don't need this drawing to be perfect in all honesty. It's not like I'm selling it to anybody. I just want it to be a good drawing because I, I feel like it's because I haven't done watercolor in so long. I want to make sure that this drawing is good to when, so when I, so the next time I'm thinking about doing watercolor, I'll be like, look how good this one came out. Hey, yeah, definitely do watercolor. Definitely do watercolor again, Jacob. I think that's probably why I'm, I'm feeling so much that way. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with the magenta though. I think I'm going to do uh, one more fish with magenta. And I think I'm going to do, I'm kind of thinking this one up here. Ooh, this one's turning out really good. I really like how this one looks. Oh, I messed that up a little bit. That's okay, though. Yeah, I always forget. Whenever I'm doing something, I'm like, okay, I really want this to be good. I start to take myself a little bit too seriously. And then I'm like, oh no, I don't really feel like taking myself too seriously. And there we go. Okay, I blended that all together. All right, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this fish as well. Um, this one, not so much. It's definitely my least favorite fish of the bunch so far, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, I just got to remember not to take myself too seriously. That is for sure. I want this to be good, but if it's not good, who cares? I can always try again later on. And it's not like it's a waste of my time. I am making a video after all, but... Let's go ahead and switch up the color. What color do I want to do next? I'm thinking hmm, maybe uh, yellow. Let's see what that looks like. All right, that's very potent yellow. Let's go do this fish down here. I'm glad I did more small fish than big fish. Let me put it that way. The big fish definitely take a little bit more time than small fish. Oh no, I messed up the tooth. Oh well, it doesn't really matter too much. Alrighty, and then there's one done. Let's go and do an, oh, I think I'm gonna keep this one wants more color or more water. Let's just give it a little bit more uh, water and let's go ahead and do the next one. I think I'm gonna do this one up here. Oh, I messed up that eye a little bit. That's okay though, it is what it is. Gives the drawing personality. And the tooth too. It is what it is. It gives the drawing personality. And yeah, it definitely gets a little bit dull because I am um, going over graphite lines that are quite dark. So that's definitely one of the reasons why the lighter colors are getting dull easily. Uh, makes sense, I will admit. There we go. There's the second fish all done. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the third one that's going to be in yellow. I think the third one I want to be this one. bit too much water with that uh with that one that's okay we'll just spread it out
Let's see. Just a little bit more. Right there. There we go. So how do y'all think this is turning out so far? What do y'all think? Is it is it is it turning out well? What do what do y'all think? Let me know how y'all think this is turning out so far. I'm pretty happy with it. How far in the video are we? We are. Oof. Wow. I didn't realize we were 25 minutes in already. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, it is turning out pretty well so far though, if I do say so myself. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I always forget how long painting takes. I ain't gonna lie y'all. Let's go ahead and switch to a different color though. I'm thinking this sort of like brickish red right here or brown I guess is probably the right way of putting it as the next one. Doesn't look like it's ever been used. Let's just see what color that's like. Yeah, it's very much like a sort of like brick or clay sort of red. Let's try that one. So let's do that one up here. Oh yeah, it's a bit dark, that is for sure. There we go, there's another fish done. And let's go ahead and do another one. I think I'm gonna do this boy, this guy up here. I am honestly very happy. Oh, whoopsies, let me just make sure that's all positioned correctly. Uh, I, I am honestly very happy with how this is coming out. I, I've, I've been kind of conflicted um, a little bit throughout the video and I, I'm not sure if I've been saying it, I can't really remember. Um, about how this is turning out. Like some of the fish I'm really happy with, some of the fish I, I'm not so happy with, specifically this one. Um, but honestly, overall, more so than not, I am actually very happy with how this drawing is, is turning out. So really, no complaints on my behalf. It's so nice to be doing something new, um, especially for a significant milestone. So certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. And it's just a lot of fun to be uh, experimenting a little bit with something I've, I've never really experimented with before. As I said at the beginning of this video, uh, pretty much every single time I've done watercolor in the past, it's been because it's been a school assignment. Uh, I did a lot, I was forced to do it a lot in high school and I feel like that might've ruined the fun of it for me. Uh, definitely being forced to do stuff ruins the fun of it for you. And I mean, like art is meant to be fun kind of thing. It's not meant to be something to stress about. Who cares about stressing about art? If you want to do it for fun, don't don't stress about it. Um, and I feel like that really just kind of sucked a lot of the fun out of it for me. And I uh, just never really had any interest in doing it after that. But these days I've been kind of feeling like I've been wanting to do it. So I'm glad I'm doing it today. Uh, even though this drawing it definitely, or even though this uh, this piece of art right here definitely is not one of my favorites, but I'm actually very happy with how it's turning out so far. And I'm actually very satisfied with it. I, I will admit, I am actually very satisfied with it so far. Um, not my best thing ever, but I, I'm more, I'm definitely more satisfied with it than not. And it's definitely a lot more fun than, than the watercolor paintings that I was forced to do in high school. Where I had a set uh, thing I've got to do and Oh, I've got to do it by this time. And, oh man, you got to do all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, I don't care. Just let me do what I want to do with watercolor. Just tell me, do watercolor, do something with watercolor. And that's exactly what I have the opportunity to do now. And honestly, it's it's so much more fun, y'all. It's so much more fun. And honestly, I don't think I really, really hate watercolor. I think I, I definitely used to hate watercolor a little bit. Actually, like at the beginning of this video, I kind of did hate watercolor. I definitely hated watercolor. Uh, and this is a little bit far away. I'm gonna try to stretch my hand over. I'm messing this one up a little bit. Uh, definitely uh, throughout high school and I used a bit too much water over here this is this might actually be a, a top contender for the worst fish I've done so far today uh, but I definitely did hate watercolor uh, quite a bit in high school it just it's not fun to do when you're forced to do it kind of thing but I also really didn't enjoy I enjoyed doing art in high school but I didn't really enjoy doing it as much as I enjoy doing art now that is for sure and definitely mainly because I was forced to do it and that stuff's just not fun forced to draw stuff I don't want to draw. If I'm going to be drawing, I'm going to draw what the hell I want to draw. Don't tell me what the hell to draw. There we go. I think I've recovered this one, though. I am going to just go over this a little bit and try to just get things a little bit more neat. And there we go. All right, yeah, this is definitely not my best one. It is very wet, I will admit, like most of these have dried. That's gonna actually take a while to dry. 
I am actually just going to uh, dab this real quick. Haha, <laughs> dab. I'm actually just going to dab that real quick just to get it to dry a little bit faster. And then there we go, because I did not bring a, what what's it called, a hair dryer with me. That's what uh, we, we were allowed to use in high school. We used a hair dryer to dry our watercolor stuff. Makes sense, I suppose. I do actually kind of want the belly to be a little bit darker, though. So I think I'm actually going to go back through and just uh, darken up the belly just a little bit. Just like that. Okay, that's much better. Much more happy with that now. And uh, that's three sort of bricky beige ones. Uh, what what color am I thinking about next? And yeah, my cup my my cup is definitely looking a little bit a little bit like Fanta. That is for sure. I might want to get a new cup eventually, but I'm not going to do that because I don't care. Uh, what color am I thinking next? I've already done green. I've already done magenta. I've already done uh, yellow. I've already done orange. Uh, I don't really want to do. I'm thinking about doing red. Maybe I'll do red. Yeah, I think I might do red. Yeah, I think I'll probably do red. And then after that, I think I'm going to do... Actually, I think I'm going to do blue, and then I'm going to do one red. Because I've got four fish left. One, two, three, four. So I think I'm going to do blue, actually. And then I'm going to do one red fish. Just like that. So what's that blue going to look like? Okay, it's going to look like that. More water. Need more water. There we go. Can't complain. Oh, whoopsies. That's okay. And let's go ahead and do the next fish as well. So I think I'm going to do the one right here. Oh, wow, that was a, a lot of water. I'm going to just get rid of some water off my brush just to try to fix that as much as I can. There we go. All right more happy with that than I was than I was uh, beforehand and I do kind of want to just stretch that down a little bit and I'm just gonna haha <laughs> dab it oh, doo -doo. there we go just a little bit okay I don't really feel like it feel like it, I did much with that but eh, more so than not let's go ahead and do the last blue fish I think the last blue fish is just gonna be right here And there we go. There's the last blue fish. Let's go ahead and do the red fish now. What's that red going to look like? All right, it's going to look like that. I will admit, this watercolor smells as well. And who? I think I need a sip of water. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I ain't taking a sip of water out of this cup, though. That ain't happening. I'm not taking a sip of water out of that. And there we go. All right, there's all of the fish colored in. Let's see, I'm just gonna stand up for a minute. You know what they say, I mean like stand up, just uh, get a little bit far away from your drawing and, and see how it looks. And I'm looking at it through my camera right now. And honestly, I am so, wow. 
looking at it while I was doing it, I'm just going to stand back just for a minute. Looking at it while I was uh, doing it, it I'm, I am, I'm able to see all of the little details that I'm not happy with, and I'm able to self-criticize really easily. And then now that I'm looking at it like from far away, I'm like, wow, this looks fucking high. I, this looks so sick. I'm so happy with it. I actually am so happy with the drug. Wow. I might not love watercolor yet. I might love watercolor in the future. I'll just put, I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. I love how this looks. I, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Maybe this is a one-off. I don't know. I am so happy with this looks though, with how this looks. I, I love it. I really do love how this looks. I ain't gonna lie y'all, but yeah. All right. Well, I do suppose it is now time for me to go ahead and actually start outlining all of the fish in pen as promised. I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the colors I started with. I started with orange, so I'm going to go ahead and just start off with orange as well, just to make sure I can uh, get all of the colors right and everything like that kind of thing, or make sure that by the time I reach the colors uh, that might not be dry yet, they are dry. So I'm just going to be going through all of this just with my pen, just making it look very sketchy and whatnot. You know, honestly, I really am so happy with this drawing angle. I'm so glad I tried watercolor for the first time in four years. I was honestly a little bit nervous for this video. I was like, man, I really don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if I'm really going to enjoy it all that much. I've actually had a lot of fun. I've actually had a lot of fun with this video. I remember why. Now I remember why specifically watercolor is so frustrating because I know I've heard people. I feel like I've heard people call watercolor a forgiving medium. It's not a forgiving medium. You cannot fix it. Once it's there, I mean, like, I guess you can just go over it and water and then fix it. It's not a forgiving medium, though. Acrylic, you can just cover the stuff up kind of thing. Watercolor is not a forgiving medium at all. And I think that's definitely one of the main reasons why I uh, didn't really like it so much in high school, because it's really not forgiving at all. I ain't gonna lie. Let's go and do one of the other orange ones. There's another orange one right here. just like that. And let's go and do the last orange one, which is up here. And now let's, what, what was the next color I did? Did I do yellow next? No, I did, what was it, magenta next, didn't I? Or no, I did green. No, no, green was the first one I did. Green was the first one I did. Okay, I really should have done the green fish first. Oh, well, it is what it is. And I think after I'm done actually giving the outlines to the fish, I'm going to go ahead and give them some extra details as well. Uh, just where some lines need to be thicker and whatnot like that kind of thing just to make the fish look a little bit better i am gonna think i do think i'm gonna do that as well uh, but i want to go ahead and uh, get all the fish actually outlined first for first first but yeah no honestly this has been a lot of fun to do this really has been a lot of fun to do and i really have uh, enjoyed watercolor painting for the first time in like four years kind of thing. It's actually been a lot more fun. I remember now why I, I don't really like watercolor wa watercolor painting all that much, but it's been a lot of fun nonetheless, and it's been a lot of fun to do something a little bit different. I'm so used to just using uh, pens and, and, and maybe acrylic every once in a while, and I'm like, acrylic's fun, don't get me wrong, but it gets a little bit stale after a while, so doing something a little bit different is uh, honestly just so nice. It's It really is just so nice to do something different, and I am actually very happy with how this turned out. I know I was like, in the middle of the drawing, I was like, ah, I hate it, I'm not so happy with how this is turning out. I'm actually pretty happy with how this is turning out now, y'all. I, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I think next up after the, uh, that was the magenta, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the magenta, though.
you know, it's a piece of hair. Got to make sure that ain't that ain't getting uh, stuck to my drawing. That is for sure. Or to my painting, I do suppose is the right way of putting it. And let's go and do another magenta one. And I'm thinking now I want to go ahead and do this one up here. And let's see, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start finishing off all of the fish on this side. Instead of really going color by color anymore, because it's been a little bit, I think all of the colors should mostly be dry now, I hope. And there we go, there's pretty much all of the fish on this side done. Let's go ahead and cover the middle now. I think, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start covering this right here, just so I don't accidentally smear any of the fish that I, I just, uh, that I, I just uh, went over with pen. there we go and I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now And let's see, let's see. All right, what am I thinking now? So I've done pretty much all of them in the lower rung area. Oh, and I forgot to do the eyes on this one. Let's go ahead and get those eyes done. And now I think I'm gonna go ahead and cover this one right here. And then I think after I do this one, I'm just gonna stand back for a minute and just take a look, see if there's anything else I want to add to the drawing while I am thinking about it. As said, after I'm done with all of these, I think I'm going to go back through and darken up some of the lines, just make some of the lines look better. Um, I'm not sure how many of the fish are going to need that to happen, but I do want, that is something I want to do. I think I'm thinking probably just going to darken up like these areas, like right here where there's corners and whatnot, uh, do that sort of stuff. It's something typical I do, and I think it'll look good on these, uh, on with the watercolor as well. So it's, I'm, it's something I'm considering doing.
And let's go into the eyes. And I'm just gonna step back for a minute and just take a look. I am pretty happy with this. I am pretty happy with this. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm very satisfied. I am very satisfied right now. All right, let's go and keep at it. I've got, what, three more, four more fish to do? Yeah, I can't complain. There we go. And let's go and do, I think these are the final two right here. Man, I ain't gonna lie, oh, my hand is starting to hurt. <laughs> Been drawn for a little bit too long. I guess 45 minutes will do that to you, right? Typically do not draw for this long. Oopsies, messed that up a little bit. That's okay though. Oh man, keep messing this one up a little bit. I think I'm getting a little bit tired. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Alrighty though, and there's the, I was about to say all done, but nope, actually I'm not all done. Gotta do the fins and then gotta do the eyes on this one. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to give my hands a break and then I'm going to go back through and do all the details I want to do, y'all. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> man, my hand is tired, y'all. My hand is tired. Whew. Damn. Okay, let's go and start adding all those details. So basically, I just want it to be darker on the corners uh, than normal or than it, than it is right now. A lot of the teeth are already like this, but I'm going to go over the teeth anyway. And so basically, just darker around the corners and whatnot. Just like right here, any like sort of corners or like sharp edges, I want it to just be darker, uh, just like that kind of thing. And I'm just gonna go over all the fish and just add that. It's something I like doing on all of my normal drawings and it's something I think would look good on this as well. So as such, I am going to do that. And I feel like it just makes the drawing just look a little bit more distinct and also gives me a time to take a look at the drawing and see if there are any details that I missed.
Oof, oof. I know I'm not talking much. I'm just kind of concentrating on getting this uh, draw and done. I ain't going to lie, y'all. And I don't really have too much else to say, I don't think. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this is uh, turning out. I'm actually very happy with how this is turning out. I ain't going to lie, y'all. Well, I know my hand is starting to get tired because it's starting to burn, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Wow, I have not drawn for this long. Trying to do actual detailed art in a long time. My hand is getting wiped. Trying not to rush it because of that, but... I am definitely a little rushing a little bit more than not, but it's okay. It is what it is. And I think that's every fish. I think I did every fish. Looks like to me. Well, there is one. Oh, I think I missed this guy right here. I think that's. I think I missed him right here. Let me just add a little bit more right there. There we go. All right. Well, there is one final detail that I need to add to this drawing, though. That final detail is a signature, of course. So let's just go ahead. And then there we go. There's my signature. It's not my actual signature, but that's that's a signature. That's all that matters. So there we go. There's a signature. And yeah, that's the completed drawing. I'm just going to back up real quick. Just stand up. What am I thinking about this drawing right here? What am I thinking about this drawing? Yeah, I'm pretty damn happy with it. I am pretty damn happy with it. I'm so glad I didn't try to draw anymore. I'm so glad I didn't go for any more fish. I can lie. I'm so tired right now. But yeah, I am very, very, very happy with this drawing right here. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I was not so happy with a lot of the details that were coming out when I was actually watercolory, watercolory, watercolor painting it. But I am overall much more happy with it, especially when I'm viewing it from a distance from above. I'm just looking at the overall like outlines and everything like that, and it looks fantastic in my opinion. This is how watercolor should look, and I love it. I definitely know there's way better watercolor out there. This is like just very much a beginner's watercolor drawing, but I am still so happy with it nonetheless, and I'm honestly legitimately proud of this drawing. Like, a lot of my drawings, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm happy with it kind of thing. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually proud of this drawing. It took me a long time to make, something I haven't done in a long time. And while it might not be the most unique concept in the world, it's a concept I really like. I am legitimately proud of this drawing. I love it. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching me uh, watercolor paint for the first time in four years though. Let me know in the comments down below, do you guys have any constructive criticism, any tips for me for watercolor in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. I invite all of it, you know what I'm saying? And thank you very much once again to everybody who's subscribed for subscribing to this channel. Uh, 5K is, is a huge milestone for this channel and I really do appreciate all of y'all's support. It really does mean a lot. And um, yeah, thank you very much for, for, for supporting the channel. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, 
just yeah for supporting the channel for watching the videos i really do appreciate it and as said in the comments down below uh, let me know if you guys have any constructive criticism or any tips or anything like that for watercolor i definitely need some tips that is for sure so let me know in the comments down below and uh yeah i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where i watercolor paint for the first time in four years it's been a lot of fun to make this drawing right here and as such i certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching but yeah thank you very much for watching y'all i don't really think i have too much else to say the painting is done so as such i'm gonna go and end this video right here Thank you very much for watching, y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying.